Hi coaches, welcome back. Big Jordan World. We're continuing our Fear the Wing series today on the single wing offense. Um, today we're talking about our second part of the spinner series, going into the X's and O's for it and the different stuff that you can do off of it. I love the spinner series, guys. It's an offensive system. I think you can apply it to just about any offense, especially out of the gun. I will say that the gun is probably the best when it comes to the idea of the spinner principles and deception and all of that. Before we get started with that, remember, coaches, Google Classroom, now till Super Bowl 55, our video series is just $30, okay? $30 teaches you how to set up your own Google Classroom. There's a link in my description below, or you can have me build it for an additional $30, coaches. I think this Google Classroom, when we're going through, I'm going to get ready to do some board work with you and put it up here on my video. Could you imagine being able to do board work for your kids? wherever they are. If you're quarantined, if you're separated, all that type of stuff. If we're having to meet in small groups again. You imagine having to do all that. Not just quarantine, guys. Imagine being able to do that and access videos from home. Some of y'all may be doing it in huddle. Imagine being able to go ahead and put your video, um, data, qu game plan quizzes, data and forth, all that on an up online forum where it's all there together. Stage. Okay, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're selling here. It's teaching you how to do that, how to transform your program. Maybe if you're not a program head coach, maybe your position group. And it's all right there on Google Systems for you. $30, an extra $30, I'll build it for you. Guys, this stuff's going to save you time, going to save you money, going to save you headaches. That's why I'm selling it, guys. Now, on to the Spinner Series. You remember when we talked about the Spinner Series last time? The idea of deceiving the defense going into hyper drop. And that's what we're focusing on here. You can do stuff different ways. Just the idea of how you manipulate the hand comes into different ways. Okay? And that's what I want you to see. We're getting ready to hit the boards now. We'll go to the X's and O's. All right, coaches, we're back. I got my little whiteboard set up going. Make sure you all can see it based on how I have it set up. Hmm. If I do that. There we go. So, we're going to draw our standard single wing formation up. And defensive coaches, I am drawing from the offensive perspective, which is kind of weird for me. I'm going to put it with a direct quarterback behind center for spinner reasons. I'm going to talk about why. So with the spinner, what we're talking about is these different play fakes here. So we can have the cross action. I also like the counter action. I prefer it coming behind. You're going to see some in a minute. We can also have the counter coming here like this way and the tailback coming behind. So what this ends up being is off of this series, he can have the ball. He can have the ball. They all can have the ball. So I want to take a look at, like, the different plays that we can run out of it. What can be set up first, okay? First being your typical jet sweep, okay? Here, if we want to run a weak side jet sweep here. Why would we want to run a weak side sweep, Coach? Well, well guys, you, you might. Set up with an odd front. Okay, so we have our unbalanced look coming to this side. Coming, everything is screaming we're running to this side right here, okay? So what happens? We get our little motion. Snap. And this is some ideas. True single wing guys with a spinner, comment on here. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what I'm th not thinking about here. But I'm thinking, okay. If we're going true traditional unbalanced, when I read past my center, okay, I'm seeing three on three. Potentially four on three if we move this blocking back. And here's why I can see off of it with the sweep, okay? And I know we're going to have a safety out here and right here, ideally. But if I have this odd front where they're shifted over because of the unbalanced look, 
We can come here with the sweep. We're still going with the deception because off of this, he's turning. Tailback can take the hand off behind. Okay? It's a little bit deeper, but it, ha it can work. So if you don't want to use the blocking back into it, okay, and I'll show you a look here in a second. I actually prefer using the blocking back because you can get this. You can potentially get a power look here. But if you want to go traditional sweep, okay, so I can go weak side trap or power and kick with my blocking back, which is nice. And I'm going to show you how we can get that look off a of trap. Or I want to go sweep. We're all stepping almost like a zone step here. Um, I'll talk about the blocking back, what I would do with him here in a second. Blocking back right here, you can either lead up, and he has the safety. And again, the linebackers get in hell with this whole spinner action series right here between the quarterback and the tailback. Or you can have him just insert to take away keys, in my opinion. Okay? A couple different things you can do there. And that's your sweep look. Now. What that same play can do is off your, get it over, there we go, there we go. Trying to get it set up a little bit better so you can see everything, okay? Still learning, guys. What I like that it can do is it can also set up your counter look. So let's say now I want to go back in front. Tail back by our wing back behind. So now I've got the counter being handed to as I'm spinning 360 degrees. I'm handing off here, and now I have my counter look off of power. So when I'm hitting them power, 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 now I can hit them with the counter off the spin. And the counter again, we go odd look, and I'll go even look because I didn't do it on the sweep. Okay. Counter. A couple traditional thoughts on it. I can kick here. We used to run that play out of slot T offense. I won't say slot T. Uh, Slot off, double slot offense. We used to run that play where we would have the kick, have him coming back down, and it's a nice little handoff play. Or, okay, your traditional one, you can pull the guard, block back, insert, fill back for the guard, and do that. A couple different ways you can run counter there if you want to do it against the even front. Once again, it looks different because we're unbalanced. So if we get an even front, I'm going to make my even front 6-3, two outside safeties, okay? Just back here, boom, 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 I kick here, I kick there, I kick there, I almost feel the help right here, okay? Cut up, cut up. Okay, and we have it there. So, going over our plays real quick. So we've gone weak side sweep. Weak side counter. Okay. If you do weak side sweep, weak side counter, I think you also have to come back here. And do trap. I like trap with the quarterback because, okay, I think that's the traditional play off of this. Before we get the trap, actually, I want to set up power. Let me set up power. So our power is coming. Our power, our play side trap with the tailback is coming from this slide here, this handoff right here. Whether we're coming, I prefer it being the cross your face time. Okay, with the wing back coming from behind. 
And then I got some guys that tell me they'll do both handoffs on the spinner. I like the complete 360. That's how we used to run it, and we did it out of the spread. Okay? So that's just what I'm focusing on today. Do with the five-man box front first. That's a five-man box. It's a five-man box. We're just going to run right at them and run wedge. Um, we're going to run power a couple different ways. If you want to take your blocking back to play side right here, and once again, you're doing the spinning to hold the players. If I want to kick you out end right here, I'm disappearing inside for linebacker. I'm taking a hard right step here to cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. Okay. If I want to kick with the H back, I can kick right there. If I don't want to kick with the H back. I feel like he can insert while the center blocks back. Or right there, cut off right there. And the linebackers, I think, are getting held by that play fake right there. Let's go even front. Okay. So if we go even front. Six three. Once again, I would use this blocking back, but I know some teams will say, well, coach, you can you can read our blocking back that way. I just think it creates a better angle here. Look at this, we're all collapsing. I'm a big down block guy. Here we go. We're holding with the linebackers to look off the sweep. And the good thing about the sweep is you're picking up if they're not biting on this, then we're gonna hit them with this. So that's your play side power to the tailback. You have quarterback trap. I'm going to run quarterback trap, and then I'm going to tell you something interesting I saw with how Apopka, our Rick Darlington now in Enterprise, ran it. Okay, I front. Okay, we got the odd front. We have the spinner action to, to do. I told you I like it coming one in front, one behind. So we're gonna make that complete spin, and then we're inserting right here. I've always wondered what I do with the blocking back. Do I send him away? Do I take him away from different? Calls. I'm going to show you what Rick Darlington does. Okay. Now, I think you can do one of two things. The trap here is going to be we want to trap first man pass the ball generally. I, this is tight if I'm treating him like the center. That's fairly tight. If you want to go over, one over, I think you can. You can use him to be your trap guy and dip and rip inside and get off of him right there. And boom, and then we're now more of a B-gap trap play. If you don't, if you want to go A-gap, which is fine. It's the way Coach Darlington drew it up. I like this blocking scheme better, the way Coach Darlington drew it up this way. So if you're going to come in, Right here, we're going to have our motion. We're going to bang, bang. We're spinning off the fake handoffs. We got the linebackers crossed up. He's going to insert guard pull there. We're going to block back here. The blocking bag is coming off the pulling guard's butt. Back here with the wave with the center almost coming back on that linebacker. Okay. Well, center really should be worried about him more. But they're almost edge blocking there with between the blocking black and the guard. Okay. I won't say center. Center's going to help back here. Place that guard's going to help us there. Okay. We're dipping and ripping down here trying to get up to the next level because we know the trap's coming right there. Cut him off so he doesn't mess with anything. I know that's all bunched up, but I like the positives here, okay? Talking about different stuff. 
with the spinner series. And you can do it, have a normal shotgun spread offense, I think. Another great play, Buddy sent me. We talked about it before we started the spinner series, how great Wedge is. When you're doing all this gobbledygook in the back, just remember, guys, don't forget, you can come down here and form the spear against whatever defense you're going against. Just snap it to the H back and go. It creates, like I talked to you about in the Wedge series, that idea of the gobbledygook of muck up that holds linebackers and you're sitting there getting yards off the bat. My buddy sent me that one. Likes a double wing more than a single wing. Okay, so why spinner? You have the idea of deception, guys. Deception just takes it to a whole new level. Okay, I think you can come with, we just saw it. you're just as creative as what you want to be. What happens if I do this? Do this, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, then I pop right here. Linebackers have been held. I pop right there, and we're good to go. We ran the spinner primarily like this. One back. We're Camera's a little bit too tight to see it there. We're traditional. Four wide offense doing it. I also loved it when I, when I was at Chatham. I thought we should have done more spinner. When I wasn't the offensive coordinator, then I became the offensive coordinator and went air raid. Do the spinner this way. Boom, 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 and you can come with quarterback trap. And it's a and you know you thinking it's a heck of a play fake, guys. And I don't think the play fake is as hard to carry out as a traditional play fake is. I think it's just all one motion. Once you turn, teach the proper footwork, I'm not teaching the proper footwork today because I'm more of a line guy giving you ideas. The proper footwork on this, once it's taught, if you go to guys who know a lot more and experience with it, I point you to Rick Darlington. I point you to YouTube a lot of time, guys. Um, that's the type of stuff that I think will get you places there. Okay, so our spinner series. We talked just going over what we talked about today. We talked about sweep. Um, before we go, I want to just show you can still, with all this gobbledygook mess going on here, don't forget. When I do my handoff, fake handoff, all this crap BS that holds. And I say it's BS. It's not BS. It's good stuff. I love it. From a defensive perspective, you hate this. You call it BS because you're just play faking me. Okay, don't forget. You can just hand the damn sweep and go play side sweep. We talked about sweep. We talked about counter. We talked about traps. We talked about power. We talked very briefly about pass. We talked about wedge. We talked about all that that you can add to your spinner series. And you can take those ideas, take the idea of the play fake, take the idea of the spinner series, and add it to your offense as a whole. Next time, guys, what I want to talk about is three things that you can adapt from the single wing offense to your offense. Okay? So next time, three things. You can adapt from the, once again, using this, using this hover cam for the first time, three things you can adapt from the single wing for your offense. From a single wing for your offense, whether you run 10 personnel, 20 personnel, 30 personnel, I don't care what you run, we can adapt, okay? I will see you next time, coaches.